is our presentation on colonial art in India. This is the Visargol Lodge. It is located in Shima, Himachal Pradesh in India. It's built in the Jacob Newton style, which is a mix between Jacobian and Elizabethan style. It's also known as the Vitrapati Niwa. Its construction started in 1880 and it was finished in 1888. It's home to some of the most ancient articles and photographs originating in from colonial India. Now serves as a campus for the Indian Institute of Advanced Study. This is a portrait of Ram Singh Dravir. Portrait is looking agra. Pose is a typical Western style. Maharaja in Sanskrit is Great King. Comes from the collection called the Royal Photographic Album. This is the English man on Tiger Hunt. It is unknown why the gun is upside down or if it was mistaken. This was made during when the Calicut paintings were extremely popular. If you go back to the photo, the elephant's foot is raised that indicate it is going to step on the tiger. Artists are known due to having multiple creators. This is a robe sewn in the Netherlands. It was made with Indian cotton, which quickly became popular in Europe. The Europeans only had access to woolen and linen fabrics, which were very dual, which had very dull colors. The Europeans named the fabric chintz, which is the Indian word for spotted. It changed agriculture, shook governments, changed fashion, and even changed the concept of cleanliness. It was drawn and painted by a skilled artisan. It's a combination of European and Indian styles. It was created with Indian fabric, but it was sewn in the Netherlands. It's Dutch woven trim with linen and wool. This is St. Andrew's Church. It is located in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. The rest of Christianity in India constructively formed Western houses before ship. The styles of these churches evolved from modest structures to trees, carvings, stained glass, and paintings. The most significant church to St. Andrew's underwent construction between 18. 18 and 1821. The church was intended to show British way of thinking in positive light and invite followers to a different way of life. Greek and Roman front, large iconic columns, bars of black and white marble, the top one is deep blue and spacious and full body. This is our works cited page and that's the end of our presentation. Hope you enjoyed.